Welcome back to another Sumerian Love Gossips video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to Beyonce and Blue Ivy's Renaissance film premiere outfits. Oh, that was a mouthful. Before I get started, I would just like to show you guys my new miniature mic. What do you think? So without further ado, let's get into the clip. Okay, so here she is in her platinum blonde hair. She has her dangly earrings. She has a black blazer on with um, sparkles. It's sparkling. Okay, here she is with her daughter. Gives her a kiss on the forehead. Blue Ivy's matching her mother in a black dress. She has her shades on. She has braids. She looks cute. Wow. I think it's very age appropriate. And her mother walks off to give her the spotlight. And I'm just really proud of Blue Ivy's accomplishments. You know, she's 11 years old. And even though people on the internet bashed this little girl for her dancing in the beginning, you know, a lot of people wanted to say things like, oh, she this and that, you know, they probably just, I feel like what it is is that they were jealous. Yeah, a lot of y'all were jealous that, you know, this young girl could really dance better than y'all and how could y'all really be mad this is Beyonce's child like what did you expect you know she's gonna be at the top she's gonna be at the top just like her mother just like her father but this girl has an actual skill and I can't dance so maybe I could watch Blue Ivy and learn a little something you know what I mean like I'm proud. I'm proud. And she's not even my child. I'm just looking at her. I'm like, wow, if more kids were into, you know, putting in that time to work on whatever, whatever it is, whether it's dancing, um, drawing, uh, whatever. I just feel like she inspired a lot of other 11 year olds, in my opinion, because other 11 year olds are looking at her like, wow, Beyonce's daughter performed with her on stage they love Beyonce now they love Blue Ivy so I love their outfits let me just say that and for the Renaissance film premiere I love the outfits as well so let's just get into Beyonce's platinum hair because a lot of people were um up in arms about these photos because look first of all I've heard people say that Beyonce tried to look like a white woman and I don't, I think that's untrue in my opinion. I don't believe that Beyonce's had blonde hair for, for a while now, for years. She's had other colors. She's had, you know, different types of styles over the years, but I feel like she's stuck with blonde because I feel like it, it just, this is just my opinion. I feel like it probably went best with her skin tone. She probably likes how it looked on her skin tone. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Maybe she just, obviously she likes it. So if she likes it, that's all that matters. I don't think she's gonna lose her fan base because she went platinum, obviously not. Um, so here she is, you know, in her platinum blonde hair. She looks good. Here she is, silver outfit, silver gloves. Wow. Okay, so here she is during the Renaissance film premiere. And she's here with Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift it was matching the theme. And wow. Wow. Look at this outfit. This is an actual work of art. Have you ever seen an outfit like this before in your life? You can tell this was custom made. This is amazing this took who knows how long this took to make this is a work of art on her body wow the outfits were the best on beyonce's renaissance tour they were honestly the best nobody can say nothing about her outfit choices nothing nothing bad um premiere outfits awesome I mean, this is Beyonce we're talking about. Like, they're going to put her in the best of the best. Like, and I just feel like, you know, 
she's been in the industry over a decade and she looks good she looks young she looks youthful like the woman doesn't age i mean come on now will she ever age she has her perfume say noir it's 160 dollars. you know it's getting mixed reviews and some people really really love it some people feel like it's not worth 160 dollars. some people feel like they don't love it some people feel like it's too pricey whatever whatever y'all still bought it y'all still gonna love beyonce she had to make that money back from the tour what do you expect um so those are pretty much my final words I really just wanted to discuss the whole um, outfit situation because her outfits were really like probably the best of 2023. Like her outfits were not to be played with at all. As always, stay tuned for more Samaria Lava gossip content. Make sure you follow me on TikTok at Samaria Lava and make sure you follow me on Instagram at Samaria Lava. Thanks for watching.